In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up ROS2 control in your ROS2 environment and to run a simple ROS2 control demo. First, you need to create a ROS2 workspace. Creating a ROS2 workspace is fairly simple, which is already covered by the official document on the ROS website. Here, I already created a ROS2 control workspace. Now, you need to clone the ROS2 control demos repository from the GitHub. You can find the link to this repository in the description of this video below. Depending on the raster distribution you are using, you should clone the corresponding branch that matches your ROS2 version. Here I'm using uh, ROS2 Galactic, therefore I'll clone the Galactic branch. Now I have the roster control demos cloned in my roster workspace. The next step is to clone all the dependencies uh, for this demo repository. And to do that, you can find the corresponding repository file and just uh, import that. We will do VCS import and input ROS2 control demo, ROS2 control demos. And now you see uh, I have all the dependencies also cloned in my Rust workspace. Uh, before building the package, we want to make sure that all the dependencies are also installed by simply running this, uh, this command. And now we can build everything using Calcom build. And it will build the packages. Okay, it showed all the packages have been built successfully. You can ignore the standard error output. And now we just need to source the setup file in under the install folder. Now we're ready to run the demo code. We can bring out the RR robot using this launch file. Upon running, the RVs will pop up and with the join controller. And you can slide uh, join to see the robot's movement in our base. Of 
course, this is just to visualize the robot, and there is no any controller that is running. To run the example that implements ROS to control, you use this launch file. And upon running, the RVs will pop up with the uh, with the two joint robots. You can check if the hardware interface is loaded up properly. By using ROS2 control list hardware interface. And now you see there are two joints uh, uh, with position control interface. And you can also see what controllers that are running. You can do ROS2 control list controllers. And you see there are drone state broadcaster which uh, publish the drone states and the forward position controller you can send a position control command to the robot and on the readme of the github uh, it tells us that we can send commands to the forward command controller either by using the command line interface to publish the, uh, the command position command to the position commands topic and or we can run the uh, uh, the example code uh, which sends two goals are uh, every five seconds in a loop The reason it's not moving, I think, is because there is a breaking on the uh, tutorial. I think uh, we're now supposed to publish the position commands to this topic. However, the scripts uh, that's still publishing to the forward position controller commands topic. Uh, let's fix that. So we we'll go to our uh, code editor, we we'll go to the roster control demo repository and found this package and uh, Rust test node and this is the Python script I believe that's running. So, uh, as we can see, the published topic's name is using the controller name plus commands. However, what we want is Position commands. And let's try this again. Yep. Now you can see the robot in the R base is uh, moving we are sending two positions uh, drawing positions to the robot 
and the robot uh, swim back and forth between these two positions. Yeah, this is the first tutorial how to set up ROS2 control in your ROS2 workspace and to run this uh, simple ROS2 control demo. Thanks for watching.